I've talked here on the channel about how we can take our phone and turn it into a remote webcam using Reincubate's Camel software. Well, it just got a new update that has some features that are going to make teaching and using our phone as a webcam even better. So some of the things I like to do when I'm using my phone as a webcam is take a tripod with a phone mount on it or this suction cup mount with the phone mount on it. And then what I'll do is take this USB extension cable with the iPhone cable on it. And this gives me the flexibility of moving it anywhere in the room, pointing it to different objects. So for example, if I want to use my camera on my computer in order to have my headshot, and then I want to point my camera to the whiteboard, I can do that. Let's have a look at how I can use some of the new features and do just that. So the first thing you'll notice is that my phone is in landscape mode. So this gives me a nice landscape image of everything here. But there may be times where I want to switch and go into a portrait mode. To do that, what I can do is either physically move my phone, but the new feature that we have is I can just go to the resolution here and go directly into portrait mode through the software. So now, without having to physically move anything on my setup here, I'm able to switch between portrait and landscape mode. That's really handy if you want to do something, you know, like put a cat on your head, right? So you can, you know, that always gets a good laugh from the audience and it depends on, so out, so it depends on what you're doing there. There are a lot of different filters that are fun to play with. There's this beauty mode, but in my case, it doesn't seem to do anything. So nah, I'm joking, of course, it softens the image there. So you can go to beauty mode. now. The one thing about these modes is if you notice here I have frames per second. So if I go frames per second, I don't get the higher frames per second if I'm using one of these modes. So if I go back to normal here, I can actually go up to 60 frames per second. Now that's a great feature as well. I'm just going to go back to landscape here as well. So that's a great feature as well because that means that I can transmit or when I'm streaming, I get a much higher quality resolution and that's very handy as well. I can also go in and I have this on stabilize. I take that off for a moment. If I bump the table, you'll notice I get quite a bit of bump there. If I go to stabilize, I still will get movement if I bump the table, but it'll be hugely reduced. I'm going to move to the side just a little bit here so that we have a full shot of the, the whiteboard there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into the whiteboard a little bit. Just move it so that I'm right on the whiteboard here. You can move things around. I've shown this in previous videos. And the nice thing here is, of course, I have my main camera that I can speak to. So in my case, I have an external camera to my laptop or I could use my laptop camera. And then I can switch over to my camel camera and I can say, you know, can write things on the board. Unfortunately, there is no feature that can improve my handwriting, but it's great if I'm doing any type of drawing, right? You can do all sorts of neat things in there. I guess that breaks that up. And uh, you can do all sorts of things with the whiteboard here. Quickly come back to your main camera. Quickly come out of zoom if you want to go wide again. You can even go in with your lenses here and come into a ultra wide. This will show much more of my studio in here or you can even go into telephoto, which will go right into something. And again, you can move this around a little bit if you're in telephoto, so you can get a little bit of a zoom in there as well. I normally actually just use the zoom feature down below here to move things around and to zoom in and out. I just really like that as a, as a feature. There's a link down below if you'd like to try out the Camel software for yourself. And if you like videos on how we can use technology to learn and teach better, hit the subscribe button. I do one to two videos every week. Here are some more videos you can watch right now.